All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another Silent Hill video for you guys today. In our last Silent Hill video, we discussed the images that were leaked by Twitter user Dust Golem. The leaked images have been hit with a copyright strike, and Dust Golem's Twitter account was locked for some time. Since then, three other images have been leaked, and Bloober Team, one of the developers rumored to be working with Konami on a new Silent Hill title, signed an agreement with Sony Interactive Entertainment that quote, concluded a significant license and distribution agreement. So there has been quite a number of new developments surrounding all those rumored to be involved in this Silent Hill project. It is also common knowledge at this point that there is more than one Silent Hill title currently in development. So that got me thinking, how many games are there in development exactly because these rumors and development studios are not adding up. Bloober Team is rumored to be working on a Silent Hill project. Then there have been several rumors indicating another Silent Hill title is being developed by a quote, prominent Japanese studio. And that got me thinking about our good old friends at Blue Box Games. Who knows what's going on with them at this point. Now this is where things don't seem to make sense, in previous rumors, it was claimed that there would be separate Eastern and Western versions of Silent Hill, and one of those projects would be an episodic style game, similar to Telltale's The Walking Dead. So we have two separate and different projects and three rumored independent studios. Fortunately, I didn't have to rack my brain too hard with that complex equation because it seems like someone actually answered this question for me just the other day. Nate the Hate 2 over on Twitter shared this info that he was given from his source. According to Nate, the project that Bloober Team is working on is not a new installment in the Silent Hill series, or a reboot for that matter, but rather a remake of Silent Hill 2. And with this remake, there will be some changes to keep the game feeling unique and fresh, such as reworked puzzles and new endings. This project will be a timed exclusive for the PlayStation. Then Nate goes on by saying that there are multiple Silent Hill projects in the works, including one new mainline entry in the series and another that will involve, quote, stories. If this is the case, then we have three separate Silent Hill titles, one of which being a remake. Now on its own, this leak doesn't hold much credibility, but two separate sources have confirmed that this is indeed true. Those being industry insider Jeff Grubb, and website VGC. According to VGC, on top of the reworked puzzles and new endings being developed for the Silent Hill 2 remake by Bloober Team, there will also be improvements made to the in-game AI and game animations. From the hints dropped over the past year, this does seem like it makes the most sense. Akira Yamaoka, Silent Hill's composer, teased that he was working on a project and said it was, quote, the one you've been hoping to hear about. Then shortly after, Bloober Team entered an agreement with Konami to quote, produce games from new and existing IPs. Now many horror fans are not too fond of Bloober Team, so it would make the most sense for Konami to hand Bloober Team an already established and well-developed game and ask them to just simply remake it. As long as Bloober Team sticks to the original source material, and doesn't rework a large portion of the game, then the remake project should be a success. This is a standard case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and just put a fresh coat of paint on it. Here's hoping that Polish developers have heard these two quotes before. Fortunately for us horror fans, a Silent Hill remake isn't the only project being worked on. One of the projects is an episodic series of quote, stories, similar to what you would get from a Telltale game. It was rumored that the developers Supermassive, the team behind Until Dawn, were given the reins for this title, but it is kind of unclear at this point if they are still involved in any way. However, there is a new name that is also being linked with this episodic project, and that is Annapura Interactive. I'm not too familiar with this group, but they are the publishers behind Sayonara Wild Hearts, Outer Wilds, and Telling Lies. It isn't certain if Annapura Interactive is currently handling a Silent Hill project or if they were one of the names that were initially considered for the project. As for the mainline Silent Hill game that is in production, it is still not clear which development team is leading the project. The only info we have is pretty much the same info that we've had all this time, 
that the project is being developed by a quote, prominent Japanese studio. I don't know about you guys, but I still have Kojima Productions checked for this box. And finally, the images that were leaked out last week by Dust Golem. Apparently, this artwork shown was neither of the aforementioned projects, but rather a completely separate project on its own. According to VGC, the images leaked were actually related to a PT-style teaser game, codenamed Sakura, which is intended to be released as a free digital title to build anticipation for the larger projects. Oh, and while we are on the topic, Sakura means cherry blossom or a flowering cherry tree in Japanese, which is what the monster was at the end of the post-it hallway and not a post-it monster like I initially thought it was. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description for all the leaked images so you guys can check it out yourselves. And I will keep you guys up to date with the newest updates as it becomes available. That is gonna do it for this video, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about these leaked details and images. Let me know also what you guys think about there being three independently developed Silent Hill projects. Or if we are counting the demo, then technically it would be three and a half. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video or found it informative, consider leaving a like, it really helps the channel out. For more updates on Silent Hill and other video game news, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.